your, your name is printed on the walls uh, in a lot of your offices. Um, there are Trey Hargett brochures, um, and I don't know if I have one of those with me, that you know, talk about who the secretary is and what he does. Um, I even noticed um, someone gave me a copy that for every employee, every employee's business card has your name first. What happens if you leave office? What happens if you're not elected Secretary of State again? I mean, all of that's going to be wasted. Well, obviously, those business cards will get used. You know, obviously, if with, with your name on it, even if you're not Secretary of State, they would not get used. Obviously, so what is about accountability? If somebody has a problem with any one of our employees and they need to know who they can reach to either express compliments, which we get a lot of those, by the way. We get far more compliments than we ever get complaints, and that's something that's very pleasing to me, and I can provide you samples of just a few of the compliments we get, if you would like. But it's about accountability. So if you showed a business card a moment ago, if that employee is not living up to what you think are the highest levels of accountability, of accuracy, of cost effectiveness, you can call Trey Hargett. But Governor Haslam doesn't have his name on every single state employee's business card. Why should you have your name? For us, it's about accountability, it's about responsibility, about being willing to, to be there and be accessible to the customers of the state, our taxpayers. So if, if you leave office, you're fine with taxpayers having to pay for new business cards for every one of your employees? Well, what I would say is that we don't run around ordering business cards nilly-willy. That, but, but if you're not reelected, they will have to order new business cards for everybody. Well, certainly, as, as time approaches to reorder business cards, we always ask ourselves, do we need to be reordering those right now? So, so we, do you think it's a good investment of taxpayers' money to put your name on every single employee's I, business card? I think my name on that business card doesn't increase the cost of business card. It does maximize the accountability of our office. If you leave office, that will be a cost to taxpayers. Certainly, business cards would be reprinted whenever I leave office. And you're okay with that cost to taxpayers? I think that's, you know, frankly, I think that you know, whenever I leave office, there are things that are going to be done differently, that probably things will be done differently. Um, and, and just the, the criticism I've heard is that Trey Hargett is treating this like his office rather than the taxpayer's office. And you realize this is not Trey Hargett's office. No, it's not. It's not my office. You know. I've been given the great opportunity to serve the people of the state by the Tennessee General Assembly. And frankly, you know, this has caused me some great reflection when the sticker issue came out. It makes us look at other areas and we have to really balance what makes us more accountable, but then also realize there is a political lens to look at things through. And frankly, as I said earlier, if we miss the mark in an area, we've got to adjust. And I'm, I'm sure that we need to take a look at everything we're doing to figure out do we need to adjust, or is there something that looks political even though it's not, that we're doing in the name of accountability and responsibility and accessibility? If it's causing anybody to think that our motives and our intentions are not good, then we need to take a long, hard look at that. 